first rules of our common goals and objectives. The PAN project, which we have launched today, will contribute towards a paradigm shift and deliver support to all stakeholders in SIN, including police, prosecution, and judiciary, while, in, while improving information sharing with federal entities such as NACTA. Ladies and gentlemen, before I end, I would just uh, <coughs> like to say to you, Your Excellency, the partnership with uh, Pakistan uh, of the uh, European Union is much older. It started in 2013, but I remember in 1990, when the European Union was actually the European Economic Community, uh, I worked on a project in the province of Sin where the European Economic Community had given a grant of 12 million echoes, they call it the European Currency Unit at that time, for rehabilitation of the Karachi Fish Harbor. And I am uh, proud to be a part of that project at that time. Um, I would also like to reiterate uh, the resolve of the government of Sin led by the Pakistan People's Party. The Pakistan People's Party has suffered the most under terrorism. Uh, uh, Leader Sheikh Motama Benazir Bhutto gave a life to these terrorists, and the resolve to root out terrorism is uh, the most in the Pakistan People's Party. I, I, I'm very proud of that and, and happy to inform everybody about that. In the province of Sindh, we, Sindh Police, with, has laid down thousands of lives. Thousands of our police personnel have sacrificed their lives, they've been martyred in this fight against terrorism. We've been ably supported by the Pakistan Rangers and uh, the Pakistan Army in this endeavor. The last terrorist incident that took place in the province of Sin is now almost it, exact, more than three years old now. It was the 16th of February 2017 in Sewan when the terrorist had hit the Mazar of Dal Shabazz Kalandar. Uh, the Sin government, the Sin police, and all the law 